Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Man X Legacy Collection, where we're continuing on in X2, and I decided where I wanted to go. I'm gonna go fight Bubble Crab, because fighting Magna Centipede this early on is a little bit of a hassle, and I would like to get all the upgrades there in the first go. Which I've missed quite a few upgrades already, but that's fine. Oh yes, the one song that Mega Man X refuses to let go. Bubble Crab. I don't know why. But this song will appear later on in the franchise, and I'm pretty sure this song's been remixed more than any other song in the series. <laughs> I don't know why, can I? Oh yeah. Duh. In order to reach whoever's here, I forgot who spawned again because I wasn't paying attention. There is... Ow. This thing, right here. This pops out. In order for me to fight the hidden X Hunter boss, I had to beat this guy. So I'm gonna try to do it as quick as possible. If I had the Giga Crush, I would probably do it like immediately, but I don't. Ow. You please. There we go, I got it. Come on down! There we go. The gate didn't even open all the way. <laughs> Imagine if I got here and the gate didn't open like at all. Let me grab that just for a little extra helping hand. And there's a spot up there. I wonder if I could reach it. Yeah. Almost. I'm gonna turn on the strike chain just in case. Nope. One more try. Nope. <laughs> Fourth time's the charm. There we go. Got it. Little extra assistance. Now let me go down that little teeny hole and continue on with the stage as normal because I don't have to worry about the thing anymore because I got rid of it really quickly. And I will be fighting one of the X Hunters the biggest issue is if I happen to lose to him, then I had to redo this entire beginning part. And it's really, really stupid that they program it that way and they just like let you start right there. But whatever. Don't go in that door or you will not be able to fight him. You have to go up here where the sh ship would normally go. And now that I followed the ship, I go out here. Who is it? Okay, it's Violin. Great. X, I shall crush you like a tin can. All right, that's fine. You can try. You're gonna hurt a lot, but I can probably do this. Because I'm like nowhere near prepared for this, like actually prepared for this yet. Here's the fun bit, dodging this nonsense. Dodging that is like so frustratingly hard, just uh, like how random it is, I like, even to this day, I still have issues dodging it. And it's not because of the lack of trying, it's just weird. Like there, there was nothing I could have done. I would have got hit by that no matter what. Okay, I had no issues that time though. Ow. And there's that. It cannot be. Now the unification is in jeopardy! Whatever. You got zero part number two! Alright. And what is that? Even X is like unamused. He's just like, eh. <laughs> okay, I got his body armor! Cool. So let's continue on. Now that my health is half gone and I got the body part. Ow. Let me grab that. And let me see if I can get a little bit more health from these dudes. Can you please? Oh, whatever. It's all good. I have the weakness. Wrong one. Go to the right one, please. There you go. This weakness is a little bit of a hassle to say the least because you'll notice in a second, this stage fills up with water. The water level changes a lot, but you can't shoot another one of these until it's off the screen. So you kind of just need to be in a good spot when you shoot it. Otherwise, it's gonna do that, and you're like, okay, let me just get rid of it really quick. I get him proper. So actually, because he like he will charge you, but 
by like doing like weird sidestep motions and I, it just takes so long. I, I hate this boss. <laughs> it's a stupidly easy boss to say the least. It's just, it's, uh, it's annoying. Can, what? What? Ha, what? <laughs> okay. Dead, dead, there we go. Moving on. All right, and now we have... You got... Bubble Splash. It looks really stupid, but it's really useful. <laughs> like, you'll be surprised. Once you get the X Buster arm, it's really, really useful. Anyways, let's see. Where is Surge is gonna go? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why do you hate me, game? <laughs> I'm trying to record. Why are you giving me the worst choices? Screw it. I'm going for it. Let's do this. Wow. I want to get through them right away. I don't want to have to deal with them coming up again. But why did you give me these bad choices? All right, now the fun begins because I kind of remember where it is in this one. <laughs> again, I don't usually get this location for this particular area. I think I remember, I remember them, but they're like subconsciously in my head. It's, it's weird. Like I remember where they're at. It's just really weird to me. Why? I made that. I was on it. I clicked B. Okay. Second time's a charm. Let's do this. Ah, uh, nope. You're not getting me. All right. And we're back. All right, let's try this again. I might not even need the strike chain, but let's go for it. Aha! I could have technically made that without it, but whatever. All right, and we have arrived. Let's continue on with the level. I got a little health upgrade extension. That one's a little bit of a, oh, hey, you need the item for it. The biggest issue, like I said with this game, is the fact that you need you need to get these parts for zero. If not, you just kind of lose zero. <laughs> so, whatever. I'm up here. Actually, I need that. I need that. No! Can I climb back up and get it? That sounds really, really stupid, but I do need it. Okay, got the... Ro Would you stop jumping out of it? Okay. Okay, I got to get up there with the robot. Which isn't as hard as it looks. I just gotta not dash out of the rope. I'm not clicking up, game. Would you please stop doing that? Okay, I gotta break these. Okay, in order to get up there further, I gotta do that. All right, and I think I should be good now. I just gotta climb up these. And this leads up to Sergis, which is the third of the three. All right. Now let's see. I haven't personally fought you yet in this version, but we'll find out how things go. I'm Sergis, and I cannot allow you to stop the unification. It is for the good of all. Let's see. Okay. Okay. In the original, I'm gonna try to explain what I'm talking about here. In the original version of this game, it had massive slowdown whenever he did this attack. And most emulators do not have the slowdown for this. So it's a little awkward, very awkward to say the least, when you're trying to not get hit by it. Because you kind of account for the slowdown, and now you kind of have to dodge it. Because the game just doesn't have the slowdown anymore. Ow. I'm really not losing that much health from this. Ow. 
Ah, stop! <laughs> Just shoot! Shoot! Ah. There we go. <laughs> I was getting a little annoying. Yeah, merely delayed. S no space. The inevitable. We'll meet again. You got zero part number one. Yay! Now that I have all the parts, the doors suddenly vanish for some reason. I have all the parts of zero. This this level is pretty much done. Whoops! That was my bad. All right. Well, I guess I gotta repeat this level for the most part. So <laughs> let's just. Uh, I'm not clicking up game. I wonder if it has anything to do with the pro controller. Because the original Pro Controllers, the D-pad is on, uh, the easiest way to explain it. Essentially, there's no central pivot, so you can hit all four buttons at once if you, like, pressed in the center. I guess the game doesn't know how to register what the heck is going on at that point, so it'll make you jump out. So, if you're playing on the Switch with a standard Pro Controller... My best option for you would be to hold down and right when you try to jump. Because you'll probably more than likely just jump out all the time when you jump. So if you hold down at the same time as you're going right and left, you will probably never jump out. But if you just do right, chances are you're going to jump out like that. It's stupid, and I don't know why this... Um, why Nintendo never put a central pivot in the original Pro Controllers. But this little mini boss is pretty dang easy. To say the least, you just gotta sit here and just keep doing this, he's dead. Alright, moving on. Yep, climb, climb, climb. <laughs> that could have been- whoa, that was weird. That could have been really, really bad. But while I'm here, I might as well get a secret. I saw you try to hide that life there. I saw it. You didn't. You didn't do it well. It kind of like moved the camera back into position. Magman X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your radar optics. It uses some energy, but with it, you will be able to see objects that you could not see before. Good luck, Mega Man. And there's the life, so it's like, whatever. So yes, this is actually kind of a cool upgrade that never really gets brought up in the series ever again. It searches out little secrets, so yes, it's telling me to go up there. One will think normally that, oh hey, I can go here and like probably like bust through that wall or whatever. But no, it's telling me to go here. It uses some weapon energy to do it, but it's not too big of a deal. Especially since you're not going to be using it that often. There's a couple areas where you could, but you don't really need to. Let me get up there the right way so I don't die. Okay. Because as you'll see, like this area right here, it's kind of crowded with bats at the moment. But you see that like, there's nothing here, right? Let me switch over to this, and it's going to be like... Thank you, bat. Yeah, it's going to be like, oh hey, there's a secret here. But... It looks like a giant empty room. Essentially, when I get the arm charge part for the silk shot, I can actually use it and... Pull in, like, certain items with it. In those special rooms, there are three of them in the game that I'm aware of. There's one here, there's one in Bubble Crab, and there's one in Overdrive Ostrich. That they all give you certain things. The one in Overdrive Ostrich gives you, like, a bunch of full energy. So that's, like, if you want to fill up your sub-tanks, you go there. That's really, really stupid. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a quick, oh, hey, screw you. I don't have your weakness. And this is the first time I never had your weakness before. So, I'll find out how this one goes. Whatever. This is the first time I've done Crystal Snell without his weakness. <laughs> At least that I can remember. I might have done it before, Buster only. But, whatever. I guess I just got to miss him entirely because he wants to do this. Yeah, his gimmick is that he's gonna shoot crystals and lock me up in crystal. Basically, he's sort of like Chill Penguin, but better. <laughs> and he kind of makes us—he kind of makes himself not a snail by having like rocket boosters on his back, so he can sit there and dash wherever he pleases. 
which is kind of funny when you think about it that that this that's his gimmick is that he has rocket boosters so he can be a fast snail can you just like can you thank you but his other gimmick he should be doing when he hits his desperation which should happen when he has like low health which really should be happening soon if I do this right would you please just stop I'm trying to not get hit by that Let me go up here ow that didn't work out that well for me do I got health thingy I I kind of do whatever but it's fine getting entrapped in crystal will make him do his like little booster thingy much quicker that was dumb of me because when you get entrapped in crystal, he's going to try to ram you every single time. So you can kind of play with his AI if you're able to quickly maneuver yourself. Yeah, like, see, he did it again. He tried to hit me. Really? Really? Oh, that's fine. He did his slow thingy anyway. This is his desperation attack. He slows down pretty much the graphics of the game. <laughs> I don't exactly know how it works. But he's going to keep doing it to slow everything down. So he has like a better chance of hitting you. Things like that. Which, yeah. It's kind of hard to dodge. But. You can tell when he's going to do it. Because he spins much faster. But it's okay. He's going to do it one more time. This is gonna suck. He's dead. Dodge this. And that's that. You got Crystal Hunter. It's basically just encases things in Crystal and allows me to essentially do the same thing that he did to me, except I could jump on the platforms as well because they essentially become platforms at that point. All right, let's see. I got a couple more to go, so let's see. I am going to actually do Overdrive Ostrich next. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. All right, this stage is a little weird. This is the one I would have done earlier on had the game been more polite with giving me the X Hunter locations. But it's okay. Because this one is it's not that bad in where they're spawning and all that junk. Like it's right up there. It's not even that it's not even that far to find them. It's like immediate. But this is the new gimmick. Is the ride chaser bike. You rode one in the beginning, but you didn't actually get to move it around. This allows you to essentially go through this level really quickly. This level is stupidly short. Without the Ride Chaser bike, it's not short at all. And I'm going to destroy that just because. Thank you. Makes the game a little teeny bit less laggy, I would like to say. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed on the X collection, I can't make that jump. Like, I don't know why. Every single, like the SNES version, I make it all the time. PS2 version, I make it all the time, despite the extra added input lag in that version, because it's a PS2 game. And, for some reason, I just can't make it, so let's watch, I'm gonna try it again. Of course I made it. Of course I made it! Every single time I try to- whoops. That's fine. Can I get the bike back? Nope, I can't get the bike back. That's fine. I'm just gonna see if I could damage boost my way through that or something. Come on, shoot your thingy. Shoot your thingy. Do the tail. Do the tail. Do the tail. Nope. Upwards. Please. 
Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I screwed up the bike. That's fun. That's okay. That that's that's all fun and dandy. Essentially, what I would do, really? Yeah, see that right up there? I would normally get that by using the bike to get it, which I will have to come back and get it now that that happened. Great. That's fine. That's okay. Mega Man X. Enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your main drive units. With it, you'll be able to dash while in midair. Use it wisely, Mega Man X. It's fine. Now that I got the boots, I can dash in the air if I wanted to. Which is kind of neat, to say the least. Which, I actually might be able to use it now I think about it. Because now that I can dash in the air, there's like a little spot right up there that I might be able to actually do this. Yeah, like this, and dash, and miss it. Whatever. On with the stage. One more little doohickey to fight, and going through. This is actually probably the most action-packed they made a boss entering at all. There's no extra door. It's just this. Destroying a rocket. There's no door. It's just destroying a rocket. But it's okay. This boss isn't that bad at all. Do I even have his weakness? I think I do. I do! <laughs> I'm like, I never have your weakness while fighting you naturally, so this is a little bit awkward for me. But yeah, he kind of has the Spark Mandrel Syndrome going on because he kind of doesn't know what to do when I use his weakness on him because essentially I slow him down to a crawl. And I can essentially just keep doing this. And there's that! You got Sonic Slicer. All right, and so far, with two Mavericks left, a lot of things beaten, I got all the zero parts. Next time on Azure Plays, Mega Man X Legacy Collection, where we continue on in X2. We have Flame Stag and Magna Centipede left, but we also have a lot of item collection to do as well. So, I'm gonna get on that. Basically, I just gotta go back through a bunch of stages and get everything I missed. I'll see you guys then.